With the VitaBox system, you can easily catalog and archive all of your Blu-ray, high definition, and DVD standard definition movies onto a server and play them back instantly on demand. Let's start by accessing the My Movie Strip, where we have a number of different options. First, we have our Movie Library option, where we can see and watch our catalogs Blu-ray and DVD movies. Second, we have our Trailer Library, which we can go into to go online and watch previews of the newest releases, what's playing in the theaters, etc. We can also search for the movies in our collection, play a disc directly, and finally, we have the Copy Disc function, where we can pick to archive our discs and start them onto the Vita Box. Let's start off with the Copy Disc function. Archiving a Blu-ray or a DVD onto the Vita Box is extremely easy. With a Vita Box extender, simply insert the disc into the disc tray, and when ready, select the Copy Disc button. From here, an easy-to-follow on-screen wizard explains the whole archiving process. We can start immediately by selecting on the next button. The Vita Box will start auto-detecting the disc that's in the drive identify it, and show you the best possible title for you to confirm. Once detection is finished, simply confirm by hitting Next, and let VitaBox do the rest. The system will automatically download the cover art and start archiving the movie onto the server. Typically, a DVD takes anywhere from 10 to 25 minutes, while a Blu-ray can take upwards of 60 to 90 minutes. If you like, you can interrupt the disc archival by selecting Cancel. From here, the disc copy is automatically cancelled. Say if we let the movie keep archiving. Once it's done, it can be found within the Movie Library option. Let's select that by clicking OK on the remote. From here, I can see all of my catalog movies at a glance by cover art. To play a movie, it's as simple as highlighting the movie that I want and pressing OK on the remote. While the movie's loaded up, I also have the option of viewing the front cover art in high resolution, as well as the back cover art if I choose to. I can also learn more about the movie by selecting on its synopsis. You can also learn more about the cast and crew as well. What audio soundtracks are available. The extras that are on this movie. As well as similar movies fitting in the same genre. To watch the movie, simply go back to the details page and hit OK on Play Selected. Let's go back onto the main My Movie screen. By default, the Vita Box will show about my last 50 or so added movies with three rows of cover art. To change this view, just keep heading up on your remote to activate the pop-up menu. From here, select View, and then I can choose another interface style. For example, I can choose List and Details, and the movies now will show up as a text list with fan art in the background wherever applicable. I can also list my movies differently. Once again, just keep hitting up on your remote, and then from there, choose list. I can now select my movies by online or offline options, movies I haven't watched yet, list them by genre, filters, or special categories that I created. Let's just say if I want to watch a comedy. So to do that, let's pick genre. And from here, it lists out all of the available different types. If I highlight comedy, I select OK on my remote, only the movies in that category will now show up automatically. Let's go back onto the main movie screen so that we can see and go over the other aspects of the Viabox Movies interface. We can click on the trailer library where we can now see movie previews of new releases, what's coming in theaters, what's coming soon, and much more. To learn about a title, simply highlight cover art and click OK. From here, I can watch the trailer, or I can read more about the movie in the synopsis section. To display the trailer, simply highlight play and press OK on the remote. From there, the system will buffer the trailer and start playback immediately. We can also set up parental controls for the movies. Note that you have to activate parental controls within general setup of Media Center first. Your dealer or installer can take care of this for you. After that's done, 
all you need to do is to go into the movie library section, bring up the pop-up menu that's on top, and select parental lock. In this example, all of the rated R movies I'm above are now hidden. You'll see the titles like War, X-Men, and others that are PG-13 or higher are now gone. To unlock the system once again, simply press back up and choose Parental Unlock. From here, you can enter in your four-digit code, and in a couple of seconds, all of the other titles will be brought back. Finally, let's go over the search function. See if you've got a massive movie collection. This becomes really handy because you can type in the name of the movie, and in a couple of seconds, the VitaBox will do the search and return the results in live time. Whether you want to be able to find a movie, trailer, or cast and crew, the VitaBox will be able to handle even the biggest of collections. To sum up, the VitaBox lets you handle and watch all of your Blu-ray and DVD movies on demand. Enjoy online movie trailers, search through titles, play a disc, and archive your movies, all from a single system.